Um, is a poet. He just met us actually today, and uh, he goes by the name of Kevin. Hey, yo, Ma, you got a crazy fat ass. Can I holler at you? I mean, you look good, and I just want to know you. You see, I caught a glimpse of what in my next lifetime. Her smile glistened in the backdrop of 18 sunsets. She massaged the universe in her back pocket. Her words spoke seven octaves at fever pitch, a perfect metaphor who flipped Eve off backwards. I am in soul, flaunts no income, and impregnating the wind's imagination. My location is where he left your thoughts forfeited, because I am a condom in reverse. Heavenly influence over drunk music, stupidity became my adversary because I'm a reflective cousin. They call me caught in the moment. I am two to six weeks. Two to six weeks after an infection, infections, masturbate, painless, ejaculated sores, and resonates around my mouth. Cold name, syphilis, I am. I am gonna be as painful urination. They itching the burden, the pain in my legs, I can't walk. Soreness of my male principles, that's why they call me gentle to hurt bees. I am two to four weeks after an infection. I'm a lifelong infection, a direct resident of your reality. That's why they call me hepatitis B. I am a vision loss. A vision loss, I am lost. The body's inability to fight off the common infection. I am no cure. I am the cure. We live a borrowed time. I am one out of every four people. I am 40 million common strip neighbors. I am H. I. I am a kind of in reverse. My ethics have read my whole psychology is in reverse. I am H. I. Vintage. A vintage victim of virginity, virtues, and voluptuous thoughts for African American males continue to stay victim, victimized visionaries, wounds, self inflicted. I am H I V. Because when you build that condom, that's when you see it. How many people are dating in here? Y'all all fucking mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now tell, let me tell you a little about myself. My name is Kevin, you know what I mean? I've been doing poetry for a minute. We're gonna get right to it. This poem is called She Makes Me Hot. This is for that fella that actually wanted to write a poem for a girl. Somebody actually told me to write this poem for a girl, so that's how I got it. She makes me hot. Rolling our relationship up in font to leave, I've inhaled down my past so I can blow in our future. I want to write. I want to sketch time this portrait of a comedic smile under my eyelids. So quite logically, when I close my eyes, I can see a spirit shine through her teeth. I want us to give birth to intuition. Conversation stretching off rainbows into matrix position. She impregnates my pen. You see, she is my item. She keeps me in tune through conversation. I want to download 5,000 future memories so I can add yesterday's verbiage to my playlist. I say this. Quite simply, I just want to know you. I want to sip samples of your thoughts as I become intoxicated by the blood level content in our conversation. Bask in tomorrow's dreams erected from yesterday's future. I much rather digest your dialect from the mere thought of me speaking in tongues. All I do is close my mouth and take your vernacular tapestry. Word plays plays words in rerun format. Mic check, one, two, and do the orgasm drip, seven minute conversations in the 360 degree rotation. That's when we become a piece of paper. And you, you be the fire. So when I come close, I could be engulfed in the presence. Become keys to the computer so I could be in sync with your touch. I want to subtract seven broken hearts from eight prior relations so when they play them mathematically, you can see the one. one. <laughs> Then I'm gonna steal your demo. Then go platinum so that you can sue me so we can be in the same room standing in front of your eye. I wanna know. You. you see, she is the blues in my left eye, trying to become the funk in my right. Queens, is that right? Aye. Queens, is that right? Aye. Fourth row, is that all right? That's all right. What do we <laughs> Second row, is that all right? That's all right. right. Then we already started casting for the sequel. And the plot with me probably caressing her knee for the long and me Lorenz take. I mean, she creates jazz like Coltrane that has me dizzy when I think of a mouse that I had to walk just to sit and talk and talk the organ between her ears. Intoxicated from her Billy Holiday eyes, I can't help but to admire her Duke. Elephants. 
As I touched and fixed general lyrics of a felonious instrumental, we became in tune with the moon. That's what become that vessel that travels through your minds that can know your thoughts before you give birth to them in your speech. I want to kiss your cerebral. Make love to your cerebellum. Penetrate your medulla so we can catch a portable erection from pink lips down to the white paper's midsection. Thus, give your birth. Thank you.